Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. For today's preview, it is the Challenge Cup Final. Sharks versus Gloucester and it's set to be an absolutely uh, phenomenal clash really in terms of the first ever South African team in a European final. Uh, two teams who have not had the best league um, campaigns now vying for a potential trophy to salvage their seasons. Um, star quality across all the various teams that we've got. Argentinian internationals, we've got World Cup winners, we've got England internationals, we've got Scottish internationals, we've got everything we could possibly want in this um, this clash. And it's all set to take to place at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium tomorrow night, kickoff at 9 o'clock South African Standard Time. Uh, it is 8 o'clock in the UK for the kickoff there. And uh, before we get to the teams, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. We'll start with the Sharks, who are without their captain. Um, which means that even Etzebeth will lead the side. Not a bad option to have to captain your side in a two-time World Cup winning uh, Springbok Centurion lock. And that is even Etzebeth, one of the greatest players ever to play rugby for South Africa. And uh, he slots at number four. In the stunt front row, though, it will be that uh, World Cup winning front row of Oxen Chair, Bongi Manambi, and Vincent Koch, who has passed fit and is available this weekend. Etzebeth will be partnered by Gebrand Krobler in a very experienced tight five, a loose show which will feature James Fenter, the currently really in form, Vincent Tuka, and uh, the ever present young Pepsi Boot Lays, who continues to make waves, is trying to mold it into a number six, apparently. Um, by John Plumtree, but uh, with the current players available, he will start with the number eight on the back of his jersey. Grant Williams will partner Siam Masuku in arguably the most exciting, uh, uh, you know, uh, halfback pairing we've got in this country, actually, to be honest, the way that Siam Masuku is playing and the way that Grant Williams is playing. Uh, very attacking nature, very, um, you know, uh, forward sort of thinking, always looking to see how they can get over the advantage line, try and taking opportunities, and uh, it should be really interesting to see how they go. With tomorrow being playoff rugby, whether this changes or whether they continue to try and be very positive and very attacking in nature. Uh, the back three is your usual. Marcus Oliver, Pimpy, Bernard Cock, Apple, Fasti. But in absence of the Kanya Aaron, young hooker, Ethan Hooker, um, will start at, at 13. And uh, he will be next to Francois Fenter. So plenty of experience uh, with uh, Ethan Hooker being the only one, and as well as Sam who have not represented South Africa in either age group rugby or sevens or something like that. So plenty of international caliber in that Sharks backline. Off the bench, it will be Fez Mbata, Intutukuk, Unu, Honre Jakobs, Lapis Lapis Kakni, Dylan Richardson, Cameron Wright, Cohen Bosch, and Edwin Cater. Once again, going with a lot of experience, the likes of a Bosch, um, you know, even Dylan Richardson played international rugby, is still very young. Intutukuk, Unu uh, is also um, international quality, has played for the Spring Rocks. So it's a strong bench, probably not uh, the strongest bench they can put out, uh, and maybe arguably not as strong as Gloucester, but uh, it's not a bad bench. At all, there are some players there that can look to make a difference, but I think that generally the starting 15 will have to be, um, you know, the ones to really get them off to a good start. If you look at this Gloucester side uh, in the front row, it is Jamal Ford, Robinson, Seb Blake, and Fraser Bowman, um, who will try and contend with that Springbok front row. In the second row, Freddie Clark and Arthur Clark. But for me, this is where this Gloucester side gets so exciting. A loose trio that is Ruan Ackerman, Lewis Laidlaw, and Zach Mercer. I mean, all three of them, I think, are, are, are potential world-class players. Uh, Laidlaw's Captain England, for example. Zach Mercer is, is, is an absolute um, beast of a player. Very good ball carrier. Um, 26 years old, coming into the peak of his powers, but uh, 110 kg, 1.9. is a big lad. As is Ruan Ackerman. We all know about him from his time with the Lions. And uh, he'll be looking to try and impress. Yeah, the halfback pairing will see Callan Englefield partner Adam Hastings. Uh, a nice player to watch this day is Adam Hastings. And very much looking forward to that battle between him and Sia Masuku. Oli Thorley, Johnny May, Santo Carreras, the back three in the centre. Seb Atkinson next to Scotland and British and Irish Lions outside centre. Uh, Chris Harris, who's born out of the picking order really for Scotland with the rise of uh, Hugh Pilotta and the way Hugh Jones is playing. Um, so an opportunity for him on one of the biggest stages to really put his hand up and remind people of his quality. Then off the bench, it is Santiago Stachino, uh, Michael Vivas, Kirill um, Gotoxius, um, Albert Tuzzi, Jack Clement, Stephen Varney, the young Italian and scrum half, Max Lewinen, the Welsh centre, and Josh Hathaway. Uh, it's a good bench from Gloucester. Plenty of uh, talent and experience there as well. So it's all set up to be a really, really cool clash. I think for me, Gloucester probably walk in as the favourites. Uh, the Sharks will probably have to, for me, put together their, their best performance of the season if they are to come away 
uh, with the trophy. I think the performance they're putting against Clement probably won't be good enough. You know, you can't afford to let the other team get into the game that much, get ahead, and then try and come back. They've got to be on it from the get-go. If they start well, put early pressure on Gloucester, get themselves ahead, then they stand a chance. But if they're not there, then I reckon this side can really hurt them. But uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve, and I'll chat to you soon. Thank <laughs> you.